Hey folks, what's going on? It's Chihan, one of the people in my living room. And today I'm here with my buddy Mort Rosenfarb. Hello. And we're going to talk about something that not a lot of people are aware of, pointed out really. Now, you may have come across some of these memes, these fun little games on sites like Facebook or Pinterest where they ask you to type in information so that you can find out like your rapper name or your stripper name. Yeah. Well, there's one going around now that ask you to type in information to generate your Star Wars name. Here it is. Now I came across this little meme and thought, cool, I wanna see what my Star Wars name is. Little did I know, I was about to publicize a small piece of a very valuable puzzle. So my name is Johan Stone. The first three letters of my first name are J-O-H. The first two letters of my last name are S-T. So my first Star Wars name is Just. We really should hire a graphic designer. We're broke, Mort. Oh yeah. Now I know you know how these little name generators work, but stay with me, cause Jet's about to get real. So my mother's maiden name is Shaw, and the town I was born in is Encina. So the first two letters of my mother's maiden name is SH, or RSH. And the first three letters of the town I was born in is E-N-C. Ank. Just Shank. That's my Star Wars name. Hey, so if you're deciding whether or not you want to stab someone, just Shank. Yeah, just Shank. <laughs> I like it. You're a very twisted individual, Mari. Just Shank. I never thought of that. <laughs> anyway, so I got to thinking. Who else might ask for this particular type of information? My mother's maiden name or the town I was born in? Yeah, these are typically security questions asked by banks, credit cards, and online accounts. Now obviously you're going to need a lot more information than this to access my personal private accounts. But let's say for example six months from now the same meme came out asking to generate your Star Trek name. Love it. But instead of focusing on the first three letters, this one focused on the last three letters. So if I were to post my Star Trek name, then my full name minus one letter, plus my mother's maiden name and the town I grew up in is now public information. Yeah. This is ridiculous, Johan. We should get a graphic designer. So what other information might you need in order to access my personal private accounts? Date of birth, right? Oh, that's easy. A lot of those memes ask you to type in your age. That's right, Mort. But that just gives you the year I was born. Check this meme out. Now, I was born on September 27th, which according to this means, my rapper name is Shiny Daddy. Yeah, I'm Shiny Daddy the Rapper. I got squiggly pastrami. <laughs> hey, what's my rapping name over here? Maury, I love you, bro, but I'm trying to make a point here. Tough cheese. <laughs> as soon as I post Shiny Daddy in the comments section, even if I don't allow Facebook to have the month and the day I was born, you now have access to that, and you've got one more piece of the very valuable puzzle. So check out this other meme that harmlessly asks for your rapper name. This one asks you to post your pet and the street you live on. We all live on the same street. We do. So if I post the answer to this, not only does the public have a piece of my current address, but it also has the name of my pet. Here's a little fun fact for you. One in six people use their current pet's name as one, if not all, of their passwords. Oh yeah. Yeah, but these days, Johan, don't you have to include a number in the password? Boom. Are you starting to see how dangerous it is to play these harmless, fun little meme games? Yeah, let's keep going. What's my porn name? Well, according to this meme, it's the name of my first pet and the name of the street I grew up on. Well, my first pet was Jasper, my dog. The street I grew up on was Mast Street in Marina Del Rey. Jasper Mast. Awesome porn name, right? That is a good porn name. I gotta post this. And now guess what? I have a headache. Hey Mort, could you open the Advil for him? 
So I've publicized two more answers to commonly asked security questions. So I think you get the point. I'm going to call it quits here. But let's assume that I posted on all of these memes we saw here today, hypothetical and otherwise, and that all of my information was correct. Here's what would now be public information. My full name, my date of birth, my mother's maiden name, the town I was born in, the street I grew up on, the street I live on now, my first dog's name, my current dog's name, my favorite number. All right, already, we get the point. Just shank. I can't get over this. So in conclusion, I'm not trying to scare you away from playing these little meme games. For the most part, they're pretty harmless and kind of fun. My rapping name is Tough Cheese. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty funny. It is pretty funny, Mari. I'm just trying to make you all aware that by playing these little games, or more importantly, by posting your answers online, you're publicizing information that could help people steal from you or copy your identity. So please, next time you come across one of these little name generators, be real aware of what information you're making public. Thanks so much for watching, and if you liked the video, please like, comment, and or subscribe. Also, if you think this was a helpful video, please share this to share this information with other people. Thanks so much. The people.